Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is a let me bore you to sleep session. Uh, only only ever listen or watch this session when you can safely close your eyes. I want to say watch. Um, the reason I say that is because I also uh, make the recording, the audio recording, into a video for YouTube and also post it on my website. <laughs> Something just fell off the... Uh, the window ledge onto the radiator and I can't even see what it is. I haven't got my glasses on. So basically I've got all the windows open. Uh, this country and it seems like the whole world at the moment seems to be going through a bit of a heat wave. So I've got the windows open. Therefore there's a possibility of background sounds. But I thought, although I probably won't name it as such in the title, but I thought it'd be good to have a session I'm thinking maybe of doing a, a session aimed specifically for when it's hot you know, so when it's a hot evening or daytime, whenever it is that you sleep just to allow you to maybe relax a bit more and to feel cooler. So, but I don't know if it will be this one because I honestly don't know what I'm going to talk about. I do apologise. These, it's basically it's the neck curtains are blowing from the wind coming into the window and knocking stuff off the windowsill but I think it's done now I don't think anything else will be knocked off oh my squeaky chair I'm going to get this chair sorted out at some point <sighs> so the aim of this session is just me talking about nothing really nothing really particularly interesting hence the title let me bore you to sleep and the more of these sessions that you listen to the more you may find that my voice is kind of a trigger for you to start to feel sleepier fairly quickly and that's that's just natural really isn't it it's it's no different from I guess any other trigger you know the beginning you know the theme tune to your favorite television program can be a, a trigger for you to maybe get excited or to be you know to remember what happened in the previous episode maybe watching a gardening show could be quite a relaxing thing to do you may be or watching snooker I find snookers very relaxing apart from when they're doing, you know, when it's maybe near the end of the game, when it's, you know, then you kind of want to know who's going to win, and it's possibly a little bit less relaxing then, but just generally because the voiceover is always quiet and calm. Football, I don't find that relaxing, but then it's not really supposed to be. 
I guess. Cricket's another thing that's fairly relaxing. And these are sports I don't really watch. I don't really necessarily enjoy watching. But the times that I've seen them on television, there's a, a calmness around it. And then with cricket, there's a, not a lot of activity going on there. You know, most of the people that are on the cricket pitch are just kind of just standing there. Uh, it would have been an ideal, ideal sport for me, really, because I do did like standing around. Although when I was at school, sports such as football, I didn't really get involved in it. I used to be. I don't know if other kids do that or have done it in the past or whatever, but my thing that I kind of always did was I would just stand near the goal, near my own goal post, maybe to the side, maybe even off the pitch, and I'd just twirl around like Wonder Woman until I got dizzy and fell over. That used to be the thing I did. That was football for me. Um, and for those that are thinking, what are you talking about? Twirling around like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman doesn't twirl around. Well, she used to. In the recent films, because I'm recording this on a Thursday near the end of July. So it's a twenty. Yeah, it's the twenty sixth of July today. It's the twenty seventh tomorrow, because I've got an appointment tomorrow. So it's the twenty sixth of July, two thousand and eighteen, and there's been two films where the new Wonder Woman has been in. No, three films. Three films. Yeah. So there was the two films. Three films. No, three films. So there was the Batman vs Superman. So Wonder Woman was in that one. And she was in her own film, all about her. And then she was in the the one where it was Batman, Superman, Cyborg, I think his name is, and Aquaman and Wonder Woman. So they, she was in that. So she's been in three so far. The the lady that plays Wonder Woman now. And there's a chance that some people listening to this won't know who the previous Wonder Woman was. And it's worth maybe just have a little Google. Have a little Google. And if you, you know, you'll be able to see the difference between the Wonder Woman now and the previous Wonder Woman of the television show back in the late 70s, early 80s time. And very uh, different kind of Wonder Woman. And, and they're both great, to be fair. The, I mean, now that they've got the special effects that they didn't have back then, uh, they needed I think the I think back then I mean when I was I've always been into superheroes and really you know I've seen all the well not all of them but I've seen a lot of the different rebirths of the superheroes over the years this seems to be a superheroes session, so I'm going to talk about superheroes. So, I remember, I used to watch, back in, you know, really, I used to watch the black and white episodes of Superman. Um, but that was, you know, it was, it was from the 60s, I think, or maybe even 50s. But I watched it because they used to be repeats in the 70s. So I used to watch that. I used to watch Rocket Man. 
I used to watch Zorro and there was another one I forget his name who was kind of like a detective he didn't have any superpowers but he was a super he was definitely a superhero and oh there was the Green Hornet as well Green Hornet that had Bruce Lee in Bruce Lee was the sidekick and that was before Bruce Lee became famous in you know in the movies he was I keep thinking he was Nakato but I don't it's Kato maybe I'm sure it might be Kato but I'm pretty sure Kato was the Peter Sellers sidekick or butler in the Pink Panther movies where they kept attacking each other and what other superheroes were there in the in the seventies? Like the old ones, you know, the black and white ones. No, I think that was about it that I that I recall. And then late seventies, early eighties, we had the Incredible Hulk with Bill Bixby and uh, Lou Ferrigno. We had Wonder Woman with Lynn, is it Lindsay Carter and and I can't remember who was with her but she she was the star of that show and um, she had a good support in there in that show a lot of support and who else was there there was oh Bill Bixby he was another superhero where he was a wizard but that was, you know, after the Incredible Hulk. So that would have been probably late 80s. Maybe even early 90s. Who else was there? As far as television superheroes go. Um, let me think. Well, there was... I'm trying to think. Can't think of anyone. So there was like a crossover. Spider Man, who had a TV show but also films. So the Spider Man film, the first Spider Man film that I ever saw, I think it was the first one ever made actually. And I remember seeing it at the same time as watching. It wasn't Jason and the Argonauts. It wasn't Jason and the Argonauts, but it was, yes, yeah, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. So I saw Sinbad and the Eye of the, Eye of the Tiger at the same time as watching, not at the same time, obviously I didn't show both movies at the same time, but one before the other. And those were the days when you could go and watch a film, and there'd be two films, one after another. I'm not sure if then anyone does that anymore, but in those days on a Saturday afternoon there'd be a you know, a matinee or whatever, you know, you'd be able to go and watch two full movies. So that used to be really good. And so I watched the Spider Man film. I think there was two Spider Man films and then they turned those into a TV show. They kind of broke up the film and turned it into a TV show. So it's a bit unusual the way they did that. I used to watch the Spider Man cartoons on television when I was in the 70s. I'm trying to think what else. So, Wonder Woman. I guess really Wonder Woman and Incredible Hulk. Then the Bionic Man. Of course, Bionic Man. He was a superhero, and there's a bionic woman. She was a superhero as well, and they were basically they both had accidents, and they had different body parts replaced with bionic limbs. And I think Steve Austin, who was Lee Majors, he played the bionic man. He had a bionic eye pretty sure he had bionic legs and he had a bionic arm I think that's that's it 
and well, it's quite a lot, isn't it? And he was brilliant. And then I forget the name, Steve, Steve Austin, Steve Austin, and the lady that played the Bionic Woman. Her name is not coming to my mind, but I think they ended up falling in love with each other and having a baby, a bionic baby or something. I, I might have made that up. And uh, I'm pretty sure I had an action man, which is basically a doll for boys back then, and he had an eye and you could look through the eye so there was an eye with like a I suppose like a, a tiny little um, telescope or one binocular so you could look through the back of the eye and you could sort of see things from further away or further away than you know you would normally see so that was quite cool and with Wonder Woman, I, I never really kind of worked out how, but she had these different costumes that she had for different situations. For example, she had a so if she was chasing somebody and they jumped off a pier, she'd and she's already in a. a uh, bouncy costume you know normal Wonder Woman costume so she'd be running um, and if anybody remembers Baywatch well the slow running was basically perfected by Wonder Woman and uh, she kind of did it first I think so She'd run into run across the the pier or the bridge or whatever, and then she'd stop. She wouldn't jump into the water. She'd twirl again, and she'd be in a a full diving costume, you know, a special Wonder Woman diving costume. And she'd jump in the water and she'd be diving. She also had. Um, an invisible plane, a little invisible plane that she could fly, and I'm sure she had a couple of other, other costumes that she could use. But she had her lasso, which um, was the truth lasso, so she could get people to tell her exactly what she wanted by putting the lasso around them. And she had the bracelets on her wrists so she could deflect any bullets and she also had her like a big metal tiara which she could use as a kind of like a boomerang so yeah it was very good I think one of the things that it's one of those programs that I've appreciated for different reasons over the last 40 years is I loved the show because it was just it was a superhero and she was great and it was everything, the music um, it was always positive you know, no one really ever got hurt and she always came out top you know, good always won it was it was very nice that like positive kind of thing and but as I've noticed as I got older there's a few things, one of the things there's a kind of obvious things there but one of the things is at the end of every episode she smiled and I looked at the camera and smiled and you know she's a beautiful woman and I I fancied her even at the age of 8 I, found, I, I fell in love with her I think and she it was, I never noticed her looking into the camera and smiling until recently when I saw it again on television last year I think it was as I was like oh so I saw I watched a couple of episodes two or three episodes and it was always like someone maybe told her a joke or something like that and she'd smile and it'd be a really, really lovely ending to the show. 
in the same way like the Incredible Hulk had a always had that sad music at the end when it was ended with Dr. Banner who Bill Bixby played Dr. Banner he'd just be walking at the side of the road hitchhiking after he'd just saved people and you know done some heroic thing helping people Highway to Heaven kind of was like a superhero television show except um, I forget what his name is now but he used to be in a little house on the prairie and he was an angel so every week he'd come along and he'd help people it, whatever their situation was he'd be there and it it helped them to get through it so that was a real kind of an uplifting sometimes sad but uplift, uplifting television show so he was kind of like a superhero and that brings me on to what other superheroes were there because it's about if people are helping each other you think Quantum Leap in the 80s uh, the late 80s and 90s Quantum Leap was kind of a superhero in a sense of that he'd travel through time and he'd take on the appearance of different people that needed help or that could help other people so every time he, he time travelled or let, every time he leaped I was trying to think what the word is but it's in the title isn't it quantum leaps every time he quantum leaped he became he, you know put, was in a position to help somebody and he only leapt away into another body when the situation was you know, sorted successfully and at the end of every episode he'd look in the mirror you know he'd he'd be in a different body and someone would start talking to him and he'd look in the mirror and he and he'd just always say the same thing just, oh boy and then that would be the end of it and then the next episode would start with him you know being in that new situation so he was like a kind of like a superhero on television really there was another one called Manimal and he this was about 82 time 1982 maybe 83 and Manimal was uh it basically could transform into animals, whatever animal he wanted. And he used those powers to help people. So yeah, that was... I've already got much to say about that show. I just... But yeah, it was, it's still kind of a superhero, isn't it? What other superheroes of television? There is The Flash. So there was a TV show called the not the Flash. The yeah, the Flash. I'm sure there was a television show called the Flash. I know there was a film. I'm talking about in you know in the past. It was quite funny. I'm sure there was a TV show as well. And yes, there was. I'm pretty sure. The the film was very funny. So what other superhero films might there have been? Um, no, Zorro, of course. There was... Wasn't there someone like Zorro that was similar? But not Zorro. Yeah, mate, I don't know. But if you come to the films now, so we got Spider Man. That was I loved Spider Man, the movie. You know, it didn't have the special effects, 
really it just a bit it was just fun a lot of fun and then Superman which was the first superhero film to have all the effects that, you know and with the big budget and uh, Christopher Reeve and um, you know Marlon Brando is Christopher Reeve's dad and that was the first time really that a superhero film had been given that kind of a a chance to shine to be massive and it was massive massive film and I saw that in the cinema as I did Superman 2 and Superman 3 never watched Superman 4 in the cinema but I have watched it since and realised why I never watched it in the cinema but the first three were great I loved them I'm trying to think what other superhero films during the 80s and I can't think of any there was I know there was Batman but that's like the, the, the later 80s but Superman so yeah I think Batman was probably the the main one and that was with Jack Nicholson as the Joker that was a huge huge hit that was and I watched that so that's when I was probably 18 it's about 89 then I probably watched that at the cinema I had a girlfriend with ginger hair that's what I remember and I watched it with her and her family and they were very very noisy all the way through it but it was I enjoyed the film so what other films so there's there was a couple of Batman another three two two or three Batman films after that and different people played Batman so you had Michael Keaton played Batman I think for the first two then I know Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer, Val Kin Kilmer, Kilmer, Kilmer. He played Batman, and George Clooney played Batman as well. So there was at least four films, and there was quite a few stars: Jim Carrey, uh, what other people? Oh yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, What's her name that was in Pulp Fiction? She she was in it as well. She was, I think, she was Poison Ivy. Uh, you had the Penguin, so that was Dustin Hoffman, and yeah, quite a few different people in those those movies, and they were all, all quite big big movies. So after that, though. So there was a Flash. I'm sure the Flash, the movie, was in the 90s, early 90s, because I watched it on video. I didn't watch it at the cinema. There was a film called The Phantom, and that was in the 90s, I think, as well, early 90s. Then you had Zorro in the 90s with... Um, Was it Bandura? Band, um, I forget his name. He's a Spanish actor, very famous. Band Andrian Banduri, or whatever. But he was Zorro, and so with the nineties, during the like early nineties, I can't think of much in the way of superhero films other than the Batman ones really television can't remember there being much in the way of superhero television shows unless you class 
Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I mean, she was a superhero, wasn't she? So she was... Or was that 2000s? See, I, I lose track. But there was no... The Bionic Woman did come back. But I think that, again, that was in the 2000s. But that wasn't very successful, apparently, so they didn't... I think they did one series or one... One bunch of you know episodes for that. Then things changed with the superhero films. I think the change was the X Men. I think it changed the the scene because you know with the Batman films, no one really had well. Generally, no one had powers, but I suppose some of the baddies, like Poison Ivy and Iceman, they, that was kind of powers, wasn't it? But in the late 90s, you had the X-Men. Or maybe it was 2000, I'm not sure. But then when that started, you had X-Men, X-Men 2. Then we started having, in the 2000s, is it the Fantastic Four? Is it the Hulk? So that's when special effects were coming in, and Spider Man, of course. The the fir another three Spider Men, or Spider Man One, Spider Man Two, and Spider Man Three. So that came out, and I remember seeing all of those in the movies at the cinema. I watched all of the X-Men films in the cinema. I watched the two Fantastic Four films. So the first one was what Fantastic Four. The second one was Surf Surf something. So that was that was good as well. They were both good. And there's also humor in these films. That was quite good. Because with the Batman films, those funny part parts, but I think the uh, the Marvel films seem to have a bit more humour in the, rather than the DC. Then, what did we have? We had the Batman films came out again. The new ones, and they were really serious. You know, I think there was three films, and they were very serious. I watched the first one in a uh, on a date with somebody. She had blonde hair, and can't remember her name, but we watched that, and it was a good film. But I don't know something about going on a date, especially a first date watching a film I'm not I'm not totally focused on the film if I'm honest so but those I always they were full of action they were really successful but just a bit and the humour it wasn't really there for me it wasn't that humorous what other films I suppose with the during the 2000s and then moving forward out of the X-Men came the Wolverine films and then they started doing the the new X-Men where you know showing the the X-Men when they were younger so they were really good as well And then I think again things changed when Marvel brought out the Avengers. Because suddenly we entered into a a universe of special, you know, superpowers. Cuz mostly with the apart from the X-Men where there was lots of people with superpowers with Batman, with 
um, Spider-Man a lot of it was just basically focused on them and fighting people just more sort of general people baddies and that but with the X-Men they were fighting other people with more pa you know with powers as well like Magneto and all his followers but with the uh with the Avengers that just took it all into a, a much bigger scale much more exciting funnier everything sort of seemed to improve and in the meantime of that we had Spider-Man two uh, another Spider-Man another person playing Spider-Man come and go did two two films, and we just had another new Spider-Man come onto the scene. I could tell you a bit about this. I used to know Spider-Man's dad. So, Spider-Man's dad's a comedian called Dominic Holland, and his son's called Tom Holland. And I knew Dominic Holland before Tom was born. So I knew him in the early 90s. And uh, I don't want that to be my claim to fame that I know Spider-Man's dad. I hope that I can do more than that, but it's still quite cool. So he's... I've liked all the Spider-Men that there's been. The first one was at Maguire. Not the first, first one, but the one with these special effects um, Toby Maguire I think I really liked him but they've actually got now someone that is young that's actually really young not in his like late 20s like the other Spider-Man then they uh pushed it even more with the Avengers so they started oh I missed out a couple haven't I Captain America how did I miss Captain America so it, it got to the point that there's been so many films superhero films that have come out over the last few years that I do lose track a little bit I mean we've got Doctor Strange you've got Ant-Man what else have we got the Iron Man how did I forget Iron Man Captain America so Captain America and Iron Man have all had, I think, three movies each, as well as being in all the other Avengers films, or most of them. I'm trying to think of any other movies that I might have missed. I've probably missed a few, but it's okay. So with the Avengers, I just really... I like them, I really do. Oh, um, was it Save, Savers of the Universe or something, you know, uh, what are they called? I forget what they're called, something. But they're Universe something. But they, uh, there's been two of those films, they're really, they're funny. And Thor. How did I forget Thor? So Thor's had three, I think at least three, maybe four films, as well as being with the other movies. Is it amazing? I could, you know, I forgot those. I've watched all of them. The Black Panther. So he was in uh, one of the movies, which was a. Uh, it was a Captain America film, but it wasn't really because it had 
most of the Avengers in it plus introducing new characters so the Black Panther was in there and then he had his own film as well as being in the next Avengers film so who else is there you got Incredible Hulk although he's not been in any other films he had his own films um, there was two there was I think just the Hulk and then the Incredible Hulk and that was in the 2000s one played by Ed Norton and the other one by Australian ex actor I forget his name he, the, the one that played the Incredible Hulk originally in a film form actually I say that it's not true because the original Incredible Hulk were Bill Bixby and um, and what's his name were I think there was at least two TV movies made and one had Thor in it not you know a version of Thor not not the one that we see now I'm trying to think oh this of course television programs is now there's been a lot of uh, television superheroes in the last few years a lot of them are on Netflix so and there's another one I forgot to mention Smallville and that was in the early 2000s and that was the basically the the young life of Clark Kent as he sort of turns into Superman so I used to watch that I used to like that but now you've got The Flash there's what else have we got ah there's also um, oh, I forget his name Daredevil the Daredevil's got a TV show but the Daredevil was in a film as well there's also a film called Elektra so they had two superheroes and that was late 90s maybe early 2000s Catwoman Catwoman how did I forget Catwoman Catwoman so that was Halle Berry and again that was pretty early 2000s Who else there is? Anyway, back to the TV shows. Now there's so there's the Marvel's Avenger thingy TV show, which has been on since the first Avengers film, and it's. Uh, I watched the first season of that. I didn't really watch it after that, but it is good. I just haven't. I can't watch everything. What other superheroes? You've got Iron Fist on Netflix. There is. I'm trying to think what other ones there are. Iron Fist um, there's so many I'm just losing track I try and watch them all honestly I love them all but I can't watch everything uh, what other ones um, Iron Fist 
so that basically he's got a, a fist that lights up and he can do things with it so yeah excuse any background sounds of people talking loudly what other things What's, there was a a female it was what's her name um, Captain America's girlfriend and she went on to be have her own TV show like a superhero but she hasn't got powers but she's still a like a superhero kind of thing and there's oh, what's his name the one that's indestructible bulletproof oh <laughs> oh losing track losing track of the different people uh, there was the Defenders, which is a, a one-off kind of TV show, which had a bunch of people in it that were superheroes that were on on the Netflix. There's a new show now, actually, that's just starting, which is a Superman, like early days of Superman when he was living on Krypton, which doesn't make sense because he left Krypton as a baby. But you know, it's, I guess it's just an alternative, alternate universe or something like that. So a Spider Man. So he had a new film recently, and quite a good one recently. It was Thor Ragnarok, and it had the Hulk in it, but the Hulk had been trapped on this planet for about four years and he'd sp he can now speak English so it's quite funny um, cause he keeps having these like temper tantrums as the Hulk the latest Avengers was it's kind of weird because it was just it had everybody in it but it was uh, I've seen it but not I've not seen it like a decent decent version of it but it's uh, something I'd like to see maybe on DVD or something I didn't get I haven't got to get to the cinema for ages not for years I used to go regularly I used to go to the cinema Every time a superhero film came out, I was there. I haven't done it for a long, long time. So I'd like to maybe get back to doing that. Ideally, I try to get to the cinema on a quiet period, you know, when there's no one around. Maybe early afternoon. But on a Tuesday I don't know why a Tuesday but you know sometime when it's not going to be busy it's just the cinema is it? I don't know it just seems to cost a lot more now than they used to I used to love it when I lived in Ipswich I used to go to this cinema and there was two cinemas there's one really flash one really big massive screens expensive you know and it was on this estate and everyone used to go there and then there was the old cinema that nobody really went to anymore but they were still operating so I used to go to the old one and sometimes I'd be maybe one or two people watching a film I used to love it then it closed down because no one was using it so that's, that was the downside of no one using it is they closed it but I really liked it in there yeah no 
I'm still trying to think what the name of not Jim Jones Jim, John, Jones, John so there's two that I'm trying to think of one is a detective and she has got superpowers but she doesn't she can't fly but she can pretty much jump onto the roof and she's got super strength and those kind of things but she's a private detective and the other one is a big strong bulletproof man and their first they both had shows but they kind of intertwined with each other if you know what I mean they they were both in each other's shows I just can't remember either of their names but the daredevil I've not really watched the daredevil I've watched a little bit but there's so many of them it's that's just a it's a task to keep up with it all to keep up with which ones I've seen and which ones I want to see me 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 you know oh, I just looked over Andre's asleep on the carpet I've got this big bucket of water not bucket but it's a uh, I don't know how to best explain it describe it it's, it's blue and it's made of plastic but it's a shape where it's full of water and he can drink out of it and dip into it dip his face into it and dip a pour in and stuff like that I was hoping he'd actually get into the water but he, he just won't although I think it would do him good to to cool down a bit if he actually immersed in the water but he doesn't like doesn't like water for some reason I don't know why Itchy, itchy legs. Oh, they've got another movie coming out. I think it might be out now, I'm not sure, but it's um, Ant Man versus Wasp Man, I think. So that'll be a uh, I don't know what to think about that because I don't think Ant-Man was I watched it but I don't think it was a particularly big success and they've even made fun of it because they've had Ant-Man in a few of the other films and it, no one knows who he is <laughs> and he's saying I'm Ant-Man no one like no, no one knows who I am so I think they make fun of the fact that he isn't like the most popular superhero I wonder what other superheroes there are that I haven't mentioned I nearly forgot four I nearly forgot Iron Man can you believe it and Iron Man's been in more films than anybody I think he's been in so he was in the first three Iron Man films there's only been three Iron Man then he was in I'm not sure how many of the Captain America films he was in I think only one but he was in um, he was in a Spider-Man film I don't think he was in any of the Thor films, but he was in. He's been all of the Avengers films. So that's what's one, two, three. Is it three or four? What other films has he been in? 
I think that's it. So at least nine. Iron Man, I think, has been at least in at least nine films as Iron Man. Yeah, I think it was only in one Captain America film. That was the 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 one where they were all kind of arguing with each other. Yeah, he wasn't involved in. I don't think he was involved in the Doctor Strange film. Pretty sure he wasn't in that. I don't think. No, he wasn't in Ant Man. I don't think he was in any of the Thor films either. Pretty sure he wasn't in. There's been three four Thor films. Three four. Three, four, four, three, three, four films. So Iron Man's been in at least nine films, nine movies. I wonder if. I'm pretty sure they must be on the verge of making another. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are there in in the movie. You know, going to make another Avengers film. Because the last one ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, so there must be another one on its way. And Iron Man would be in that. I can't think if he was in anything else. I honestly can't remember. Oh! Deadpool, not Iron Man, but I just remembered another superhero film, Deadpool, and that was that was also had a couple of characters from the X Men, although they didn't have any of the main characters from the X Men, but they had two X Men, well, one one man, one woman, to uh, be part of, you know. Deadpool's world so there's been two Deadpool films now one's just been out recently and that's well for me Deadpool was the funniest but I did like actually I quite like the the most recent DC one with Batman Superman um, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, because there was quite a few funny bits in that as well. Some of the dialogue between Batman and Aquaman was quite good. And Aquaman and Wonder Woman as well. I wonder who else. I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman only had one film. Yeah, she did. Um, no, I can't think of any other other films with superheroes in. They probably are, you know. Of course, the list will never be endless because there'll always going to be, you know, there'll always be a, a, an amount. It's just remembering what that amount is and what those specific films were called. But I can't remember all of them. Um, No, I don't think there's any others. A Doctor Strange, I've got that. He was also in the 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 last Avengers film that was on. He was in that. I mean, the Hulk was in the Avengers film, but he was it was very different. It was. I think mean, it's quite interesting the way they do it. They don't. They. Uh, Who 
they don't stick to a, a set thing, they're very creative, very creative, I like that. What other films are, what, other, what superheroes are there? I suppose Robin Hood is a superhero in a sense, wouldn't he? But actually, he was a thief, wasn't he? So, not really a superhero. The Flash, again, in the film, the most recent, yeah, the the Avengers film, The Flash, was played by a different character to the television show so that was different it was a different for me that confuses things a little bit where they have different characters playing you know the same person that's cause I, as far as I'm aware the the television shows like Flash are made by the uh, the same studio as that makes the films. Maybe it's a different section to the studio, but it's... But I might not be right on that one. <sighs> I hope this has been boring enough for you. I do aim to please. I am to give you everything you ever wanted in boredom by talking about superhero television shows and films for an hour. Just talking about them. And I didn't focus on Wonder Woman. Those that are listening, still listening might have thought that I was going to focus on her but I wasn't it was a, a way into the whole world of superheroes but my favourite will always be Wonder Woman the original Wonder Woman because I loved her so that's me thank you for listening my name is Jason Newland my website is jasonnewland.com and you've been listening to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. And I hope that I was boring enough to send you to sleep. See you next time. Bye.